Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Hanotrak and we are playing Stellaris, we're going to be playing on Grand Admiralty difficulty and we're going to be playing the Church of the Brain Slugs. So these guys, funnily enough, um, this was the race that I encountered as a fallen empire in the very first game that I ever played Stellaris years ago. And uh, so I always had like uh, a soft spot for these guys in my heart and it really does look like they have that brain slug in here if you don't know what the brain slug is go watch futurama um so yeah we're gonna be another um mega corporation i really didn't do it too well with the cult of draco because i was just i was just learning things like let's be honest when you like stellaris with the 2.2 patch has become a completely new game and i just had to get my bearings because so many things have changed, but now that I've played, I'm approaching like I think 200 hours since the last patch dropped. And with that, I kind of feel competent enough to play these guys. So uh, we're going to be corporate. We're going to have Gospel of the Masses again. So uh, we're going to be a church um, where you can get your own symbiont brain slug. Love the brain slug. That's our, that's our motto. We're also going to be free traders. And the idea behind this build, we also have thrifty pops. So trade value from pops plus 25%. What we want is as much money as possible to spread our faith. Uh, with Fnatic Xenophile, it gives us another 20% trade value. So together with that, we have 45% trade value boost. The free traders gives us another 10%. So we're going to start with 55% uh, additional trade value. And then our guys are also going to be spiritualist, which boosts the trade value that we get from people even further. We can build the Temple of Prosperity on other people's planets. And we're not a criminal syndicate. And the reason why is that the eye is entirely too good at building up stability buildings like they will just eradicate you and i'd rather spread through somewhat peaceful means with these guys okay so thrifty rapid readers because pops are power in this game for sure and with the new patch slow learners because i mean they got a brain slug the brain slug is intelligent but it's also a bit difficult to make experiences when you're like steering a humanoid <laughs> and then they're solitary sometimes they just want to have that piece so that's that's what we're going to do um, I think we're going to use these guys to get um, the genetic ascension, which I've never done before in a Let's Play series. So what we're going to do is 800 stars, just because I still feel performance isn't as great as it used to be. Um, and it wasn't all that great to begin with, sadly. So, But the patches, the last couple of patches have actually improved it quite a bit from 2.2. 2.0 to 2.22 that's a massive a massive jump but uh yeah okay tech tradition cost we'll leave that at one habitable worlds we're going to leave that at one two primitives we're going to leave that at one crisis strength five times for the lulls we're going to go mid game start year 2300 and game start year 2400 victory year 2500 yes uh we're going to go grand admiral because sure i'm a sucker for punishment scaling difficulty no uh normal ai aggressiveness we're going to go Okay, in the multiplayer games, you can now go um, players evenly distributed. But here, I guess we're just going to go random, no advanced neighbors. I am going to put down the hyperlane density to 0.75. I find that a very nice setting. Gives you nice pockets in there. Um, in the game, abandoned gateways, we're going to maybe bump up to 1.5. So there's a higher chance that we get one. And one more pairs, we're going to put that down a little bit to 0.75. Then we're going to have the guaranteed habitable world, but that's about it. So this is going to be our starting thing. Oh, no, wait, I don't want it to pickle. I think we're going to go two arms, four arms. I think we'll go two arms. That's nice, I guess. Okay, let's do this. This should be a little bit easier to handle. It's still plenty of AI empires. And it also does make the endgame crisis slightly more difficult if you have 800 cells compared to a thousand so yeah that's gonna be interesting let's jump in uh i've been playing a lot of uh stellaris all through december ever since i rece received that code we had that 24 hour charity game all that kind of stuff massive amounts of playtime invested and i at this point i kind of feel like i have a decent grip at it so it's eons since the first primitive brain slug host communities took shape in the archipelagos and lagoons of praise the slugs our civilization has spread and prospered yes through the power of the brain slugs there's only one thing that is equally mighty 
and that is the Hypnotoad. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Praise the Brain Sucks already has 57 trade value, which is insanity. Uh, it's just 28 pops. That's that's pretty nifty. I I love it. I gotta say, this is this is fun. This is really fun. Okay, so where are we? We're here. Ooh, ooh. Looks like we got a pretty nice spot. Like, so what I've learned is we cannot grab too much space. That's just no way we're allowed to grab too much space. What I want, though, is a uh, black hole. So there's one here, there are two here. There's one over here, damn it. Yeah, we're kind of unfortunate in not having a black hole here, so we'll have to get one of those, just because I want the Manity Compressor. Those thousand minerals are sick, uh, if you can get them. Um, that's nice. Okay, so what, what do we want to do? First of all, we got to go, got to uh, drop map the stars. We gotta go policies. We gotta go to nutritional planetude for that 10% pop growth speed boost. That's nice. We're gonna keep the trade policy for now on wealth creation because we want to make money. But as we get more population, we're gonna switch to consumer benefits to get that uh, get those consumer goods and save a lot on minerals because otherwise we have to build those consumer buildings and all. Let's go physics research. Okay, yeah, we should always take these. This is nice. We should always take these. Okay, we're just, just slightly unlucky. Just slightly unlucky here. Uh, I think we're gonna go minerals from miners then. I would have liked to get the engineering research in this one too. Well, what can you do? Such is life. At least we have two maniacs researching. Who else is afoot? Ooh, hello. Anomaly discovery chance plus 10% is pretty awesome. So we have one survey speed guy down here um, going for this. And I think I'm also going to rename all these guys after patrons. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be back in a sec here. And we're back. So now we have our leaders here. We have Brother Rubicon being the governor of our planet. He's a environmental engineer. Very nice. Brother F is busy commanding our first science ship with the survey speed boost. Brother Uma is leading the engineering research. He's a maniac. Uh, Brother Peter is leading the society research here. And Brother Levi is leading the physics research. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make sure to get that second researcher guy in a in a bit. So first thing that you want to do, like in basically every game, is jump in, get your minerals first. Um, now there is a rush strategy that we can use against Grand Admiral AI, which includes going for um, taking the homeworld of one of our neighbors, but it is kind of cheesy. The um, even the Grand Admiral AI isn't really prepared to fight off a very early rush, which means you end up with a second home world and you're just massively overpowered at a certain point. So I think I'm going to abstain from that um, just to not unbalance the game too much. So yeah, that is, that's what we're going to do here. I do want a black hole. I really do want a black hole, but yeah. Um, I also do want our first colony here, our uh, soonish. I guess we're gonna just survey here, this one. Um, and then people have been saying like, dude, why not using the survey button? And they, they're absolutely right. They're they are like totally right. Um, okay, and then you come up here, survey these. And then we don't know how this works. Actually, it would be, if this is like just a, a stopped um, arm, and we probably don't need to go towards that direction. We are going to build a second science ship right away. Now, on our capital planet, what we definitely want to do is we want to drop the encouraged planetary growth, like, super quickly. Um, but that's not too much we can do. We also got shafted with the planet size of our capital. Just 16, that is not great. That is definitely not great. Doesn't make me too happy, I gotta say. But oh well, we'll we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay, let's go to fastest here, and I will just pause when I have to. We should see that go up. Yeah, forty-three. <laughs> Look at that money. And there's our ocean world. Complete. Okay, there's our second science ship. Come on. Uh, okay, so we're gonna just pause for for a sec. Now we're gonna get this dude for the anomaly discovery chance. Hello. So you're gonna be. Where are we? You are going to be Brother Fuck Fulu. Welcome to the cause. Thanks for being my patron. 
Let's move on and start surveying up here. Looks like we got a very nice spot. Now, yeah, as I said, I made the mistake of grabbing too many planets in the beginning and too many systems. And we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to stay small. Um, Construction complete. Fend for ourselves. Be be smart about it. We'll go. I don't think we need any of that, any of that money. I mean, should take it, but having mining districts is normally the better, the better go. So here we're at least getting 3.60 per month. It's not enough though. Did they reduce the base growth rate? It feels like it. Not sure if it was always three, the base growth. Found. Uh, okay, so this is routine. Yeah, we can go for it. Why not? I have another anomaly. There's a tundra world. There's an ocean world. This is probably going to be our first colony. Let's hope that there are some nice planetary features on it. That would be awesome. And uh, so then we're going to wait until our found. capital planet is maybe at, I don't know, let's say 30 population. And then we're going to settle that planet. There's a, another anomaly. Holy hell, you guys are finding lots of things. I like it. Okay, so no, this is actually continuing over here. complete. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, we're currently producing 11 alloys. That's not nearly enough for what we want to do. But since I have no human players in here, I guess I don't have to horribly expect an early rush. It could happen. It could, no, it could definitely happen. That's like, make no mistake. That is definitely something that is in the cards. Let's build a third science ships just so we, that we can explore down that arm. The sooner we get that done, the whole surveying, the, the better we are in terms of what we can do. We are going to get an Admiral for these guys, I think. Just ship fire rate is probably good on the Corvettes. Oh, we could just go fleet logistician, but it doesn't really make a difference here. This guy is also very young. So, welcome. There's going to be... Construction complete. <sighs> Okay, we have the alien riding, sure. There's gonna be Brother Zua. Welcome to the team. We're gonna command our fleets. I hope you do well. Let's check our uh, our current loadout. So we're using the point of fence and the mass drivers. I just don't like the design pretty uh, very much. Mm. Don't really want a laser on there. And then we're probably gonna go armor heavy. Reactor booster isn't really necessary. Okay, we're getting some engineering research. Let's stop the auto-generated designs. We're gonna save that over. Okay, this looks decent. The point of fence will at least help you like avoid losses against stations and, and stuff in the beginning, which can sometimes be a problem. So how's the growth of our population? We're still not doing too well. That doesn't make me super happy here. Okay, let's recruit one more dude. Oh yeah, very nice. Another scientist with the anomaly discovery increase. Oh, come on. Just let me let me rename that later. So this is going to be Brother Eric. Brother Eric Todd, welcome to the Church of the Brain Slugs. I hope you like your symbiont. There, there are no refunds, though. So if you don't like your symbiont, you just have to, to suck it up. I'm, I'm sorry. We can't give too many of those symbionts out. Like, if you're one of the applicants and you got one, you can already consider yourself lucky. Those symbionts are highly sought after. Because they, they like, not only do they make you feel super nice, but they're also mega intelligent. So, like, combined with a brain slug, you're going to experience life like you've never experienced it before. It's, uh, it's just, like, an amazing way to perceive the world to do things you you have no idea you have no idea but you should probably have an idea so if you if you have the chance to to get a brain slug i very much uh, recommend jumping on the chance it's just it's just great very much an experience for your life so we're going to leave that uh, that anomaly i complete. don't think it's worth it um to go for the higher level anomalies we just want to survey our space um Secure some choke points. System okay, so what's on our planet? Avrip systems fully surveyed. There wasn't much in there. Um, nice. There's another complete. 23 ocean world, 22 world. Very, very good. So this place has 
17 planet size. It is going to be a good generator district. This is the thing that we need the least though. Because we're already producing a lot of energy credits via um, our trade. So I'm not 100% happy with that. But I guess we'll have to make do with it. Um, yeah, we don't know how these planets are built up. Uh, so in terms of traditions, you can go discovery. Which is probably not a bad pick for us. We could also go Expansion to get that 10% pop growth speed. Or we go Supremacy if we expect that we have like aggressive neighbors. These are the, the, the three really good early picks. You can pick up the Harmony for the reduction in food consumption, but I think in this case we're actually going to go Discovery just for that additional research boost. Uh, we still don't have anyone. Yeah, we have no idle person on the capital, but I think I really did want to drop down the corporate culture site and then... We'll probably also want the temple. Ooh. Well, a lot of worlds in our in our neck of space. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh we have the Cybrex precursors. Interesting. Very interesting. Sure, sure. Anomaly found. Uh so this is challenging. We're gonna leave it be for now. This is all this is all fine. We can we can always collect those later down the line. Um, do, do we want to take this place? I think very much so. Because it's going to be our... We're going to leave that be for now. This Construction is, complete. Okay, praise the slugs is done. Oh, okay. So the tomb world is very, very nice. Uh, we have crystalline caverns on there and a valley for a zoo. We probably want to terraform that into an ocean planet though. And then this place is going to be... Oh, yeah. Look at that. A lush planet with tons of agriculture districts so this is going to be our farm world and also has a bubbling swamp on it awesome awesome well, liking this this is kind of a dud um but we, we can we can make do it, it's okay it's okay we'll, we'll deal system with it system survey it. complete okay so there is a black hole down here and system i think i'm complete. gonna try to grab one of these just so that we can build the manatee compressor uh maybe we'll just close off our space over here then this is, this is a little bit awkward uh the way that these hyperlanes are going but there's nothing much i can do about it system survey complete okay moving to unknown system so yeah okay right we're gonna nab that mining base Okay, yeah, Situation we're gonna go have the world update. survey for sure. Construction complete. Um, come down here. We are gonna have a little bit of an influence problem because we're trying to like nab a lot of systems. Anomaly found. Okay, so it's challenging. We're gonna go ahead and just boost our survey speed even further, which we definitely want. So let's go. Corporate culture site helps our guys. I'm actually thinking about dropping the commercial zones and replacing it with the temple it just gives us like it gives us two jobs and then we could just build a mining district to like use the other the other dudes feel like that is the way to go like the clock jobs aren't really doing much on the other hand we're gonna lose amenities so it's producing 10 amenities which would make us drop uh do the priests produce amenities yeah so we can just like we can just replace this and i think i will uh you gotta you gotta pray to the brain slugs so that they bless you with wisdom and stuff okay damn it we already we already found someone down System here survey i already found someone I, I i'm not liking this I, we might not get the black hole over here might have to just take it with war then oh <sighs> and i had i had so many friendly intentions but i don't know wait 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 um, survey, 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 let's go. We System are gonna need more influence, which actually kind of uh, incentivizes us to maybe settle the first planet because that's gonna spark our factions and then it's gonna give us influence. Let's drop the encouraged planetary growth here to get that growth rate further up. 4.35 now, that's, uh, that's okay. It's a decent, Construction decent complete. rate. Okay, so there's Asgard. There's a military station in the system. Name, Brochu and Pre-Sapiens. Oh, no, 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 okay. Yeah, this is probably not good. 
This is probably not good. We'll probably get uh, whacked for this. Um, if we can get the Wistral system, though. Anomaly found. Uh, leave the anomaly. I'm gonna nab that. I mean, we can always take that those those black holes from from someone else. This is gonna be okay. This is, this is all right. Okay, we found the Corellian Company. We wanna be friends. These are peaceful traders. They're spiritualists. And they're exactly like us. What the heck? Private prospectors, franchising. We just wanna be friends, guys. Momentous occasion. So I guess we might have found our first friends. They're they're cordial. They're overwhelming. Um, yeah. I mean, what can I say? We, we probably should. I mean, they're overwhelming because I haven't built any ships. Which is a bit of a, a gamble. For sure. They're also Grand Admiral AI. Yeah, let's go non-aggression pact, System I think. Survey this, is, this is good. Uh, I don't want to go for the other pacts, just because influence. Incoming transmission. Income is still tight. Very tight. So, Brother Eric Todd has found a thing up there. Come on, put the station. Complete. Come on, I, I wanna, I wanna, Incoming like... Incoming transmission. Okay, what do they want? Oh, they want the research proposal and the commercial pact. Okay. Sh sure then. Why Why not? You, you can't build anything on my planets, but... We'll see what we can do together, but... What? There are more aliens in here? Alien space station... Yeah, okay, so we have we have neighbors up here too. That is not too happy making, I gotta say. So I've gotta build another construction ship. We're just we're just being kept small. I mean this is an okay system, but I think we might be better advised to just push north instead of going for this. Mm, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm just gonna go survey these systems. Just because uh, we still have that edict running, and I want to use most of that edict. Construction complete. Okay, so in sluggish, I'm gonna send that guy to the Okram system. I kind of want to at least grab my cluster here. I'm gonna be really mad if I can't do that. Come on, I need influence. God damn it! Not, I'm not happy. Okay, Cap Duran has moats up here, so. The AI is gonna be make damn sure that they that they grab that one, I think. So maybe we'll just leave that one. I mean energy and and, and stuff. We, we can just build that on our own. I guess we we're gonna leave it. We've gotta gotta uh, prioritize, right? Gotta prioritize. Gotta System prioritize. survey complete. Okay, well we don't have the automatic survey, so hmm. I don't know. I really want that black hole. But there's probably not much that I can do about it, so let's just just survey up here. I think what I can do is just can investigate these beta aliens. Uh, oh yeah, we actually have we have unemployed people in our capital, which is uh, not too great. We're gonna build this to get some food going, and then I think we're gonna build a mining district to deal with that deal with that unemployment because uh, we have more pops growing. Things are happening here. Things are definitely happening. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, oh man, these guys are close. These guys are close. This looks like a very tightly packed galaxy. Not 100% sure if I'm happy about this. Construction complete. But okay. Okay, okay. I see how it is. Okay, we got that one. I think we're gonna move you over here. And here we'll just... We'll just move up. I could have taken... Maybe I should have taken the expansion, have actually. new wisdom. Ooh. Ooh, yes, this is a very important tech in the 24 hour, no, not 24 hour, in the Incoming Christmas LP. Oh, they want, they want migration, they want a migration treaty. Sure, we're xenophiles. Give me, give me, give me all your people. Oh no, people are emigrating from that planet. Come on, my beautiful, beautiful planet. Construction what don't you like complete. about it? Come on, it's, it's great. Don't go away. Okay, we just want to be friends. That's another mega, you've got to be kidding me. I'm surrounded by mega corporations. <laughs> what? Why? What's happening? Just like mega calls, left, right, and center. Uh, yeah, sure. Go, go for that. We will probably just take that system and be happy about it. 
Situation log updated. Subplot exploration probes. Oh no, I don't like these. I don't like these subplot exploration probes one bit. Because they're nasty. They're gonna they're gonna hit us where it hurts. Okay, we can take the science division here. This is good. We're producing uh Unity at a very decent uh gain rate, 24 months until we unlock the next one. Sluggish still needs to work a little bit. We still have that that emigration push, but it's not too bad now. It's not too bad. This is gonna be this is gonna be okay. With 23 influence, I was hoping to research these guys and get some influence that way. But I mean, I could I could potentially just rival them. We only have a non-aggression pack with these dudes. We don't have a defensive pack, which is problematic. I think what we'll do is we're actually going to build up our fleet a little bit. I don't want to make too much of a tasty target here. So let's just drop some alloys, build up our fleet a little bit. We're going to look like a very tasty dish. No thorns. Okay, yeah, if we survey down here and survey that one, we're like going to be in that area. We uh, have an admin cap of 50. Uh, we only have an Empire Sprawl of 20 at, the, at this at this point in time, so so far we're looking pretty good, I'd say. Construction complete. Uh, Uselden has strategic resources, exotic gases. Oh, over here. Yeah, sure. I'm so glad that these guys have that. All right, come on, come on over, buddy. Explore that system. Uh, we're done with the researchers. Really want the automatic survey speed, or automatic exploration, so that is good. Um, yeah, it's shaping up nicely, I'd say. Shaping up nicely. We need more influence to lock that one down. And then we just want to go down that route. Analyze the sample. So Jompron um, has weapons. Planet has been scorched, bombarded, seared, and peppered in what is surely some of the most extensive weapon testing we've yet to encounter. Through th countless attempts have been made to obliterate the planet entirely, it appears the aliens have not yet developed the technology for it. Okay, so our brother Eth has collected an assortment of broken weapon remains. Yeah, analyze Situation the samples. Log updated. Sure, analyze the samples. That's, that's good. Analyze those those crazy alien weapons. What, what, what could possibly go wrong with that? I'm sure this is great. Construction complete. It's just what you need to do. System survey Find complete. some weird weapons in space. Go for it! Okay, we'll take the pop growth speed. Pops are still power. Let's check this. So we should have no people emigrating anymore. We also have no immigration, which makes me a little bit sad. I guess these guys cannot live on our planets. What what are you guys? What are you? Yeah, no, they they continental worlds, like ocean habitability, 60%. That's good. That's actually totally fine. We don't we don't have a problem in that respect. Okay then. Okay. Where's my where's my where's my ship? Over here. At least these guys haven't kicked us out of their borders. So, that's good, I guess. We have that xenophile diplomacy. If if we at all can, I don't want these guys as an enemy, but I can not see that not happening. So, and we have the modified Situation probe. These guys are just going to attack us. Um, which system is it? The Russian system. Okay, that is that is non-ideal. Yeah, we're just gonna emergency jump out of that thing. System survey oh, this is complete. Fine. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna build the thing up here. Come on, let me do the thing. Seal the, seal the stuff off, and then we wanna go down that arm. Come on, chop, 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 chop. Oh, Anomaly man. found. Ah, uh, where is it? In the Biltron system, which is down here. Yeah, research it. Sure. Why not? Okay, so we have one unemployed pop, which means we can actually start building a building here. The question is, what do we do? We kind of need... We kind of need consumer goods at this point, but we also need to build up our fleet. I really don't... I w really want research too. But I think what we got to do is just go holo theaters to make people really happy, boost that stability. Um... Resources from jobs, trade value. So approval rating goes way up if you do that. Yeah, we're gonna go for Holo Theater in this case, which is gonna Incoming be good. Transmission. Our 
Don't mind if I do, yes. So we got the defensive pact, which is nice. So we got some friends in the south. I think we're gonna bring this to an end. Uh, next time we're gonna continue with this. We'll probably expand down that arm. We're gonna try to see how much we can lock off this arm. Uh, maybe we can get that, so sort of a nice choke point. Maybe even push to the black holes. I have no idea. Sometimes they're a little bit unevenly distributed, but considering we have two neighbors so close, we might not be able to get all that much space at all but that is fine like as a moiga corporation we can at least expand into other empires uh we can just bribe them for it and uh, that's going to be interesting so if you enjoyed the series or the start of the series then please leave a like always very helpful at the start of a series because it can show up in search results thanks so much for watching my stuff uh subscribe if you want to see more and i hope to see you in the next episode thanks bye bye